I'm going to show you how to make the pause coaster from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, two layers of wash waste stabiliser, a selection of threads, one that's got a matching bobbin, my squeezers, some pins with heads and my fabrics and batting cut to size. You're going to start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser. So place it over the outer hoop and then place your inner hoop over the top. We're then going to pin around the top edge of the hoop and this will stop the, the stabiliser from being dragged down between the two hoop pieces and this is important especially when you've got fills in a design or if you're doing freestanding lace. So take your pin, lay it on top of your inner hoop, push it through the stabiliser, bring it back round and back through again like so. And you're going to do that on all four sides. Load your file into your machine along with your thread colour for the quilting of your fabric. I'm using a slightly darker colour so that you can see what I'm doing and then I will swap it out later. Then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you your placement outline for your batting. I've put a piece of paper underneath my hoop so that you can see my outline. You're now going to place your batting over the top and tape it in place. Pop your hoop back into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim up the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. Take your front coaster fabric and place it over the top of the batting and then tape it in place. Making sure that you've got the thread colour for your quilting loaded into your machine, you're then going to stitch round number three and that's going to secure your fabric and quilt it at the same time. Place your fabric for the poor background over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine along with the thread colour that you want for the actual paw print itself. I'm going with a dark brown for this and then stitch round number four. Now going to trim up the excess fabric from around the paw print. Load your thread colour that you you want for the satin stitch around the border of the paw into your machine, and then you're going to stitch round number five, and that's going to zigzag the raw edge. If you're happy that there's no uh, threads poking through the zigzag stitching, you can then stitch round number six, and that's going to do the satin stitching around the edge of the paw. Next, we come to the word paws, so load whichever colour you want for that into your machine, and then you're going to stitch round number seven. I'm going with a yellow gold for mine. Next is the word sit, so load whichever thread colour you want for that into your machine. I'm staying with the yellow gold. And then you're going to stitch round number eight. Mm -hmm. 
Next we've got the word down, so load whichever colour thread you want for that into your machine and then stitch round number 9. Next is the word chill, so load whichever thread colour you want for that into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 10. You're now going to add your backing fabric, so turn your hoop over and place your fabric over the back. Then you're going to tape it in place. Load your matching bobbin and thread for the satin stitch border into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 11 and that's going to secure your uh, fabric to the hoop. Remove the tape from both back and front of your hoop and then you're going to trim up the excess fabric from both back and front. So turn your hoop over making sure that you've got your matching bobbin and thread loaded into your machine you're now going to stitch round number 12 and that's going to zigzag around the raw edge you're now going to stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the satin stitch border around the edge of your coaster I'm going with the dark gold again, the same as around the edge of the paw print for mine. Now that all the stitching is complete, we're now going to free this from the hoop. So turn your hoop over and then trim around the edge, taking care not to cut your stitching. All that remains for us to do now is to dissolve the excess stabiliser from around the edge. So take a cotton bud and some warm water, dip it in and just wipe it around the edge of your coaster. And that's your coaster finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group, there's lots of help, ideas and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to this design along with lots of other information including where I get my supplies and some discount codes in the video description below. Mm -hmm.